Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to direct to The Bear, Season 1, Episode 8, The Finale. I'm very excited to watch this, you guys. Uh, this is an episode request from someone on Patreon. You know who you are, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm very excited to watch this. It's The Finale. The last episode was very short, but hectic, crazy, insane. This episode is much longer. So, I don't know what we're getting here, how we're going to come back from the last episode. I do not know how we're going to end this season at all. Or is everything about to be shut down? Is everything about to get suddenly much better? And they're going to figure it out? I don't know. I guess we'll see in a moment. So, before we do though, please don't forget to check out Patreon. Link is down below in the description box. Please, please, please. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there you can get weeks ahead right now already on basically all my YouTube shows. And plus, you get Patreon exclusive shows. Shows that are only on Patreon, not on YouTube, like Pox and Rec. Uh, Battlestar Galactic, I just finished season one of Broadchurch, oh, so good, and a uh, couple others, Attack on Titan, there's, there's multiple others that are only on Patreon, not on YouTube, and as of filming this right now, I've looked at the numbers of the Bear season one on YouTube, and I'm, it's pretty low, so not many of you guys are watching here, so I'm very much debating, probably going to do where when I continue with season two now, because I do, because it's usually one. Uh, this one person wants me to watch the bear, and they have an episode request a month. So each month they request a new episode, and I love doing it. Love the show. Love the request. But if not many people watch it on YouTube, I might just not edit it for YouTube. It might just keep it as a Patreon exclusive, and just keep it so if you want to watch it, you gotta go to Patreon because it takes time and energy to edit all these. And if I if no one's watching it. I might just put it, you can watch season one on YouTube and season two and three, go to Patreon, okay? So if you don't see season two up here after like a month, it probably means it's on Patreon. I'll probably put a post when I start putting season two up there, but uh, just so you know, just letting you know now, all right? So if you want to, go check it out there. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this, and without further ado, here we go. Welcome back to... Oh. Oh, what is going on? And today we're going to be making beef. Is this a, a weird dream he's having? In my dysfunctional nightmare of a household, my brother Mike made this for us every single Sunday. Aww. You guys, <laughs> this is cute. My brother, who is addicted to painkillers, oh. blew his head off on the State Street Bridge. Bam! Oh. Okay. Now, hold on. It gets better. He never let me work there with him, even though I'm pretty good at this <laughs> right okay oh he is snapping anyway Brajal oh, oh things are vanishing <laughs> okay that was don't even open Isn't it, man? Oh, uh, oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like this. Guys, I can't do this. Stop. I can't. I can't do this. Oh, God. This is stressing me out already. We're like a minute in. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, Carl. Can you hear me? Is he hearing Mike? Fuck off my Expo ship now! Oh, God. You better. <sighs> oh, that looks so good. I want to set this place on fucking fire. Come on. Oh. Oh, this is going to make me hungry. I should never watch The Bear this early. Would anyone that's been to fewer than 15 meetings like to speak? Ah, uh, good for you, Carmi. His hair is all over the place. 
my brother and I, we would cook a lot together, especially when we were kids. You know, that's, that's when we were closest. Oh. Food was always our common ground. I, wish, I hope we get to see more of Mike. We've been a restaurant together. Um, we had a name, we had a vibe, all of it. I want some flashbacks, the good days. You know, like when I was a kid, if I was nervous, I was scared, I wouldn't want to do something, he'd always tell me to just face it. You know, get it over with. He would always say... It's uh, always a good idea, just get it over with sometimes. And, um... I'm not built like that, man. I, you don't uh, have to be just like Michael. It's, you don't have to. I didn't know my brother was using drugs. What does that say? <laughs> It, they people that use drugs are good at hiding it. He stopped letting me into the restaurant a couple of years ago. He just cut me off cold, and that um. Why? That hurt. Did he not want you to see who he really was? I think that just that flipped the switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you, watch this. So he went to do as best he could. And lame and shitty. And uncool, I, I made this plan where I was going to go work in all the best restaurants in the world. You know, uh, and you did like it. I'm going to go work in real kids. And it was everything. But he never did it for himself. He always did that for Mike, to, against the Michael. Came into the restaurant to stage. I'd look at them like they were a competition, like I'm going to smoke this motherfucker. This is quite the monologue so far good at something that was so new and that was so exciting and i just wanted him to know that and fuck i just wanted him to be like good job he just wanted some appreciation from his brothers a good pat on the back that's all he wanted he had all of this and then he got none of it and the more people i cut out the quieter my life got yeah and the routine of the kitchen was so because it was in rough shape and i think it's very clear that me trying to fix the restaurant was me trying to fix whatever was happening with my brother. Yeah. You thought fix the restaurant, fixed you and Michael. I just don't know if it ever meant anything to him. Mm. Ooh, I love onions. Ooh. Anything from Marcus yet? For real. She just missed my asshole. You know, like, what happened? Oh, move on, dude. In the asshole. You can't sew an asshole. <laughs> I've sewn assholes. Who's? Close friend. Close friend. Yes. Look, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we are going to be closed for dinner service tonight because we are having a bachelor party in the front. Oh. No, I know. I get it. But uh, it's just for the night. I'm still going to rock lunch, all right? I'll run point out front tonight in case I got to use the big boy voice. <laughs> okay, fine. Thank you. Well, you I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to try to keep it chill. They're going to bring their own booze. We're going to have snacks, small plates moving right through, okay? Right, Thank, you, chef. Thank you, chefs. Okay, I see you. Oh, the two of them are hanging out. Good for them. Yeah. Just take the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Whose house now is that? Now I see you and and everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're off the... Uh, I don't know about cool. I feel like... Uh... I'm just the type, like, as soon as I stop, I... Yeah, she can't stop working. Yeah, my, uh, my mom's like that. What is that? It looks tasty, though. I feel okay. Better. You know, my head just got real fucked up for a minute. Yeah. I mean, welcome to the club. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. It would be weird to work in a restaurant and not completely lose your mind. Fair. Uh, that's why I would never do it. I mean, about to find out. So what is this? This is a Chilean sea bass. Ooh. Alain Bassan inspired uh, tomato <laughs> coffee. Then, uh, I don't know, herbs, because fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, no, why the fuck not? Okay, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh man, when I was at the CIA, the um, the Culinary Institute of America, yeah. not the you know <laughs> government. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I thought you were a spy. I could <laughs> do a regime change if I really felt like it. I'm sure you could. 
CIA agent by night. <laughs> okay, it's crazier things have happened. Your <laughs> what? what do you mean, hey, you spilt veal stock? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you figured just stabbed a guy in accident. This is my home, and this is how you treat me? You, you reward me with memories? <laughs> for you? Anyway, place that I could think of. And one of those places was the best meal I ever had. That's so tight. That looks so good. Wait one second mm -hmm. because I forgot this. You gotta have the lemon. Wow. Yeah. I had a chef who would only let me zest. That's it. Wow. I worked at the place for like eight months. <laughs> and all I did was zest. Wow. Oh, that's normal. Probably got really good at that. So normal. Yeah. <laughs> Restaurants are weird places. This is really, really, really good. Thank you. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, T? Chef? Yeah. You good? No, he's really not. Why? Oh. Oh, I get him out as annoying as usual. He's exhausted, it feels like. Just uh, tired, I think. Yeah. You're dressed like Sid. Hmm. Aw. Like a profess? <laughs> I like it too. Hey, T, you don't know anything about uh, KBL Electric, do you? Mm, like what's you that? never mention it. Not all of you. Not all. What's it for? Yeah, that's a lot of money to be given to. Paying these big what? pieces out every month. Um, Adds up to the amount that Cicero loaned him. Oh. Uh, did he owe money to someone? It's a lot of bachelor parties to pay it back, huh? Yep. Yes, chef. I remember there was one month we didn't have napkins. He wasn't paying them on time. Wow. I was like, Mikey, pay these motherfuckers. We need napkins. Yeah. It was like, kind of what's the point? Damn. We're going to be able to pay him next month. Mm. What was all that money going Sounds to like that? that was his attitude, huh? Was it like drugs <gasps> no, no. that he owed someone to? Dr hey, Tina, you go ahead. You take the night off, okay? I got you. That's nice. You know how much I loved him. <laughs> a lot. I loved him a lot. Aww. I um, I had some of your donut the other day. Off the floor? Yeah, <laughs> off the floor. Gary keeps it clean. <laughs> no, no, we're not. <laughs> and I'm really sorry that Carmi destroyed it like a little bit. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. Yeah. He destroyed it like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, little Small bitch. bitch. Okay. <laughs> I like these two being friends. Have you talked to him yet? Or? Mm. No. Well, you gonna go back to UPS? Mm. UPS is the crazy shit that made me want to do this crazy shit. So. <laughs> okay, and? I mean, and it's the best restaurant on earth. What do you mean? The bacon. Yes, yes, exactly. You mm -hmm. understand. Yeah. Oh, bacon. For people and make them happy and give them the best. The thing bacon is, not earth. every restaurant has to be a fancy oh, yeah, dining fine. place. There needs to be that's cool. a place that's you just get bad. a sandwich. So there needs to be a place where you get fast so food. Bacon. Needs to be a little bit of everything. And I guess just do that forever until my credit isn't negative one million. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a dream spot? Of course. Like what? I mean, you'll find out when it's open. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like that. That's how you win. Yeah, or, or lose everything. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, either way. Best what? Best note you ever had. What? Yeah, it was, it was kind of... I knew it. Uh... He is really, really, really good. He may act like a little bitch every once in a while, but he's good at what he does. Yeah, but he's still a little bitch. <laughs> yep. I don't disagree. 
<laughs> oh. I was not expecting this, but okay. I'm standing right here doing nothing. <laughs> fucking. This is a fucking disgrace right here. Yeah, it's not great. You knew he was using? How could you not? Because I never fucking saw him. I never fucking That's, talked to him. Yeah. He wouldn't like calls. He wouldn't let me work in the restaurant. He never got to see him. And he should have done more. Michael kept him out of it so he wouldn't see him. Michael really destroyed this family. I never thought he with his addiction and his death. Oh no. Breaking things. Fuck. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> They're fighting. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god, what are you guys doing? It's a bachelor party. A fight club here. Oh my, there you go. Ooh. Oh. That, that did not look good. Oh God. Shit. Oh God. Like what, what happens if he doesn't wake up? He better wake up. Yeah. I, I'm saying, what happens if he doesn't? It's not good. You'll be looking at manslaughter. Yeah. Oh, God, he better wake up. I need my phone call. You gonna call? Sister? Cicero, maybe? Hey, this is Tiff. Leave a message after the tone. Hey. Oh, it's Tiff. Okay. Sorry. I was just thinking about all that shit that went down with your dad, you know. And What uh, happened with her dad? How I called him when I called him. Oh, no. What did you do? Um. Hope you guys had a good day. Give Ava a big hug. You need to meet Tiff and his daughter. Your moment. Let's go. What happened? Did he survive? You woke up. You got lucky. Oh. You get charged with aggravated assault. Oh, God, good. Oh, God, thank you, God. You're welcome, dickhead. <laughs> Yo. <clears throat> Did he stay through the whole night? <laughs> yeah. You get the money for bail. Ooh. You start two week parachute. Oh damn. Thank you, cousin. They gotta. Oh good. They gotta figure out something out. System work together. I feel like neither of these two have really faced their emotions about their brother or okay. anything in their lives, and it's all coming to a head now. You know, like, yeah, cause. Yeah. They've got to find a way to work together better and make things work out, or it's gonna crumble. Damn. Oh, he's back. Now apologize for the way you yelled at him. Or not. Just walk away. Okay. Here we go. Try again. Back. That's good. Right, sir. Don't need to make excuses for it. Just say sorry. Welcome. 
Yeah, That's good. Yep. What, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this oh is God. my station. Not respect. No, chef, that is not respect. <laughs> hey. Ew. Great shirt. Oh, bendito, my little felon. <laughs> Again. A souvenir for your troubles. <laughs> Gary, I stand before you a penitent man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's rock. We really cleaning. Love that. Do you ever feel sad? Of course I do, Neil. But I don't talk about it. Are you talking? Keep it all inside. <laughs> it helps me beat the shit out of people. You're talking to the video game, dude. What are you on? I don't know if it's ever coming back. If you ever try that shit with me, Ooh. I'll fuck your ass up. <laughs> Fair. Right, yep. I think uh, he right. Kami needs to go uh, up, to the, uh, sit, I think. I don't think it's going to come back without him coming to her and having a conversation. Locked and loaded, please, all right? Yes, chef. Thank you. What's that? Is it Michael's or Sid's? I think it's Sid's. Recipes. Hold up, no, no, this is, uh, that's pork, I don't need pork. I'm just the delivery guy. Take it over, Lou. Oh, got the wrong meats. <laughs> what is that? Ew. Do you not have any beef? Are you gonna do Sydney's recipe with pork? I don't know what's about to happen. Oh, ew. Why is it all messy now? It was all so clean. Oh god, he's... Don't let it hurt you, don't crumble. What are you thinking? This kitchen looks very quiet and empty right now. What's going on? Oh god. Oh no. Oh shit. That's not good. Is he imagining this? It looks very fake. The CGI is it tight. Grease fire. Maybe we need to clean even better. Yo, hey. Yo. He really just went someplace else. Fuck. You all right? Yeah. 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 I don't think so. Yeah, keep an eye on Kami, you guys. He's slipping a little bit. What's that? Oh, that's the thing he hit, put back there. He found and then put back. Is that a letter from their brother to him? And then that he was gone? Oh, but, um... Giving that letter, man. He couldn't give him the letter. I think you'd need to read it. I need to know what's in there. Instead of pretending like it's all fine and like nothing's happened, you need to just face that head on or it's just gonna get worse around here. Come on, open it up. Yep. Stupid. Just open it up and read it. Ooh, that looks good. She's still cooking at home. Is he finally calling Sid? 
No acid. What? What is it? No acid. Your dish needs acid. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the first thing you say to her is like, critique her. <laughs> yeah, fair. The first thing you say to her after she's pissed off at you have a fight is no acid. Hmm. Yeah, she was losing it a bit. She was crazy. But yours was too. They they both had bad behavior, but Kami, instead of helping it, making it better, made it way worse. He was he kind of let it all explode like that. You've got this. What's in it? What's it say? Oh, that love you do let it rip. Oh. Let it out. It's okay. It's okay to cry. What's it say on the other side, though? Fuck you. Fuck you. It's okay to be pissed off at Mikey. It's on the back of the family meal spaghetti recipe. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Love you do, let it rip on the back of the spaghetti recipe. No. In Somalia, I am grill master. <laughs> Damn. That's sexist. Who's that fat? Ooh. Oh, that looks good. I'm getting so hungry. <sighs> Look at this. It's doing that thing. Yeah. Where the streams, they won't join. <sighs> I got you. I'm going to fix this. Oh, you got me? <laughs> How about this? How about we got We're giving you an opportunity to work here. Even prove yourself. Maybe put some money in your pocket. Yeah. Prove yourself. You know what? Unless I got stabbed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> got stabbed in that car. It's pretty tough. Okay. I'm sure it was. <laughs> pretty tight. Okay, I'll fix this. Okay. Love me some red pepper flakes. I love garlic. What? Is there stuff in the cans? Drugs? Money? There is money in the tomatoes. Oh shit. What's that? Yeah, that's money. What? Uh, yeah, we gotta open these all up. We may have cash to pay everyone. <laughs> Stop work, it's time to get the money. It's more important. Ooh, all the tomato sauce is like blood. Oh god, what? Ew. Make a mess though. You don't need to make a mess doing this. Whoa! Okay, why are you throwing it on the floor? There's gotta be a better place, a pot to put it in at least. It's, it's, it's happy though. <laughs> Where did it all come from though? It's a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Sydney's walking in at a weird time. <laughs> uh, what's uh, uh Yeah. <laughs> She's so happy to see Sydney. Sid, quit fucking around. Grab a can opener. <laughs> Right back to it. Family style? Two tops, boots? Family style. Danish design. Tasty menu at the bar. Oh, okay. Window on the side. 
But, okay. Come back together here. Talk their language. Which is cooking. Food. What do you call it? The bear. We're changing the restaurant name from the beef to the bear. Is that happening now? Just like in the design, the picture. Oh, so clean now. Okay, that's better. And all that room saved up now. This whole time. Oh, there's one more though. What, what? I wanna see. The beef is closed. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, wow. The bear is coming. Oh, the bear is coming. I mean, season two is going to be officially the bear, not the beef. Oh, he invited his sister and her husband, too. That's very nice. Make it a real family. God, this is making me so hungry, though. My stomach has already been growling for like 20 minutes now. They're finally starting to move forward. Oh, a little flashback. Aww. Ooh, got a little teary eyed there at the end. We all, they all came back together at the end of this finale. It's, it, it was a rough road, but we kind of made it to a place where I think Kami is starting to finally not move on, but move forward from Michael's death and not let it hurt him as much where he was hurt and hurt others around him. And I think can appreciate the people around him. And I think Richie's starting to realize, like, chill down a little bit and not be as crazy and a kind of a dick. To be like, hey, call me, it's you and me, ride, die. We, I've only got you. And I think it's some more real stuff. Less, like, fake attitude. Less of these two, like, acting tough and everything. I'm just, like, letting it sink in. Soak what has happened to them. Realize they have each other. They're both suffering through it. And they can be there for each other. They don't need to suffer in silence alone. And everyone's back now. Call me, apologize to... What's his name that I can't remember at the moment? Very sweet, nice, simple. And he and Sydney didn't... He did apologize for baby and text and everything. And he did in a weird call me way of saying no acid. That's the first text. Very weird. Could just said sorry or something. But he did eventually say it. And he... The two of them speak a different language. They don't... They speak food. And so when she first comes back, it's immediately, let's do this. And they're like, in sync, back in sync. It's like they just lost out of sync for a while. And it just kept going where they were so out of sync. And then now they snap back to it easily. They have a very good communication style if they just let it be and don't try to fight each other as much. Oh, so the back and the making... The Beef and To The Bear, the dream restaurant. Both of them had a dream of making their own restaurant. And she does, I think, living in the past of The Beef and what it was like is not healthy. I don't quite know. The only thing I have a question is what's going to happen with this money? Why was it in there in the tomato cans? And what was the money from? Why was he hiding it? Was he just hoarding it or something? Is it illegal money? Is someone going to come looking for it? I guess it's the money he probably owes Cicero. But, like, why didn't he use it to pay his bills at all? But I guess now they have the money. Are they going to pay Cicero back and then their bills? Or are they going to do the bills and the food and focus on the restaurant and then continue working for Cicero, kind of? Don't know. I guess we'll see in season two. I'm very excited to actually see the bear, though, not the beef and them kind of moving to the next level of making their own restaurant instead of working in the past, finally moving forward as a family, as a group, as a team. I'm excited to see it so badly. Can't wait to start season two, you guys. All right, so again, thank you to the person who requested this. Appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed my reactions to season one. As I said, season two may just only be on Patreon. We will see how the season one finale 
does and rest of the last two episodes have not aired. The, the last episode, episode seven, has not aired yet on YouTube. And then I have to wait to see how this one airs. And then depending on that, I'll see if it goes on Patreon or continues on YouTube. We'll see. So thank you guys for watching. Patreon link down below in the description box. And I really have to go to the bathroom and move my laundry and eat something before I film anything else. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.